Welcome to tutorial 4 for Survey Research and Design in Psychology. This tutorial is about multiple linear regression and the structure for the tutorial uh, is that we'll go over the general steps involved, uh, review the assumptions for multiple linear regression and then do uh, the two exercises out of Allen and Bennett a standard and a hierarchical regression and then try out standard hierarchical and stepwise regression uh, with the Francis exercise data. So let's uh, start with the general steps. Step one is to conceptualize the model. There are two ways that we uh, that I suggest you could conceptualize a multiple linear regression model either with a path diagram or a Venn diagram. So for MLR we'll have at least one independent variable. Uh, we'll call these sorry at least two independent variables. Independent variable 1 independent variable 2 and we'll be using uh, these to try and predict a single dependent variable uh, and we can have more independent variables we can have as many uh, as we like in theory although in practice we would generally be trying to limit uh, our models to having somewhere between two and perhaps uh, eight or so predictors. Now, as we'll see later in uh, this tutorial, we can also depict uh, these relationships using Venn diagrams. And in this case, for example, uh, this independent variable correlates with this dependent variable and that's the correlation here and here we have an independent variable that correlates with the other independent variable but does not correlate at all with the dependent variable. Now these models should also uh, for your research report be expressed through uh, either research questions and or hypotheses. So the second step is to make sure that you've got the correct levels of measurement and um, this means that if we go back to our model then we need a dependent variable which is continuous uh, in other words it's like it at least like it um, or ratio level of measurement and for the independent variables we can either use continuous data or we can use dichotomous data. So dichotomous data is uh, binary data it might be coded as 0 or 1 or any two values and it would be best used for uh, or most commonly used for things like male and female. If you have variables which are either ordinal or um, uh, categorical then you'll need to recode them if you want to use them as predictors uh, either simplify as binary data so you could go from GPA which is ordinal and recode the data into perhaps those who get HDs and those who get other grades uh, or if you want to reflect the full complexity of the data then you need to dummy code and dummy code means creating several dichotomous variables that it can each be entered as independent variables and they represent the um, the more complex categorical variable. So make sure that you've got the right levels of measurement and if not recode your predictors. 